All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash, double apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which is us so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We make up the biblical. 12 tribes to the nation of Israel. The title for this lesson is Forbidden from the Light. Now, what the light that I'm referring to, according to the scriptures, is the understanding of the Bible. In essence, that would be Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows as, as Jesus, his true name being Yahweh Shai. He is the light, okay? which is uh, going into understanding the understanding of this Bible. Now, the word forbidden, and I just did a simple Google search on it, all right? And I like what came up. It says, not allowed, banned, okay? So, you know, through the scriptures, I'm going to go into the scriptures to show that the majority of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, are not allowed or banned from the understanding of the Bible, okay? But what I want to first do is go into the scriptures and show uh, what, the, what the light is or who the light is and what the light is, okay? And then we'll go from there. So let's start with... We're going to start with St. John chapter 8 because everything must be uh, backed up by the scriptures. Okay, we can't just be saying things and not uh, have the scriptures to back up what we say, what we teach. So this is St. John chapter 8, verse 12. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them. And I believe, um, in the end, let me just get into it. I, you have to read the whole chapter to get, get the backdrop, but I'm just hitting, the, hitting or getting straight to the point. It says, Then Yahweh shall spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. See? Because I made the statement that, uh, first I said, the light is the understanding of the Bible. And in essence, it's our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So right here, let's read it again. It says, then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. See, so to access the light, you have to follow Yahweh Shai. Okay. I believe in, uh, what is that, Revelation, the 14th chapter, it talks about uh, the virgin that followed the, uh, the lamb, whether so ever uh, he go it. All right, let me, let me actually uh, get that real quick. Right, um... Uh, Revelation 14 and 14 and 4 it says, These are which were not defiled with the woman. I'm sorry, with women. The women is so this is all figurative talk or parabolic talk. Woman or women represent different philosophies. Okay? It says, For they are virgins, all symbolic talk. And the they is talking about the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? They didn't get caught up into the different philosophies of this world. The, the scriptures also say in Isaiah the 60th chapter that the world is covered in gross darkness, complete darkness, you see? And what's that darkness? Uh, uh, other philosophies, doctrines, which, which uh, will have you to live a particular way here on this planet earth you see which are the wrong ways 
it says, um, for they are virgins, okay? Meaning, spiritually, we haven't got into these other, for we, these other uh, doctrines, okay? Now, we are, at one point, we were, we were all in the dark. You know, we came uh, out of the dark into the light through what? Through following Yahweh Shai. But what, uh, uh, when you follow somebody, you have to believe in them. You're not going to follow nobody you don't believe in. So when you follow something, that's an act of faith. Okay? So the scriptures is figuratively saying that with a... Uh, well, Lord willing, you know, I'm including myself because I hope to be of the elect. But the elect are uh, spiritually virgins, meaning they hadn't been defiled with other philosophies. Okay. It says, these are they which follow the lamb, whether so, whether so ever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of the most high and to the lamb. You see, so it also it says also in this verse that, you know, <clears throat> these were redeemed from among men. Right, because we all came out of uh, the ones that are of the elect was in that darkness at one, once upon a time also. <clears throat> you see. And they was brought out of that. Uh, uh, darkness into the light this was all through election of course so that so that uh, they could receive salvation okay because the scriptures tell us in uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times of thy times <coughs> Salak Salakia okay so we go back to uh, St. John 8 and 12 uh, let's read it once again. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me. So that's how, how do we follow Yahweh Shai? By following uh, the scriptures. Okay. And we're going to show that Yahweh Shai is the scriptures. He is the word. All right. So we have to follow these scriptures. That's how you get access to the understanding. Ultimately, you have to be chosen. There's one. There were ones that were chosen to receive the light of the nation of Israel, and there were the masses of the nation of Israel were uh, uh, banned from the light. It says, uh, "I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light of life." Okay. Now let's get. From there, let's go to St. John, the first chapter. And we're going to start at the third verse. St. John 1 and 3, it says, All things were made by him. Who is the him? Yahweh Shai. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. You see? So it's telling us right here again that Yahweh Shai is the light. Okay. Now from there, let's jump to so we can show through the scriptures without a doubt. This is definitely talking about Yahweh Shai. Let's jump to the 14th verse. St. John 1 and 14. It says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father. See, it says the word was made flesh and dwelled among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father. Who was the only begotten of the father? We read it all throughout the scriptures. Okay, it's where, especially in the New Testament. Yahweh Shai full of grace and truth, right? So now we know for sure, according to the scriptures, that for one, Yahweh Shai is the word, okay? The word that we have before is this Bible. 
and he's uh, he's the light. Okay, now the light is dealing with what understanding. Now before I move on, let's get uh let's get Psalms forty and seven real quick. Just another precept to show that Yahweh Shai is this word. The basic scripture, Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7, it says, Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. You know, and all you have to do is jump to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, and you'll know without a doubt that Psalm 40 and 7 is talking or referring to, uh, to Yahweh Shai. It's referring to Yahweh Shai. Because Paul quoted Psalms 40 and 7 in Hebrews 10 and 7, and he was talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? So Yahweh Shai is the word. Now, what does the word say? Okay? Because we said, we have, we have established that the word is the light, which is Yahweh Shai. Now, let's see what the scriptures say, okay? Because I made the statement that the light is understanding. So, what's the, uh, the main thing about getting this knowledge of the scriptures? Let's read it. This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Now, if you go into the word principal, it means first. So the first thing you must do is get this, get the wisdom, be on the start your uh, voyage, so to speak, of getting the wisdom, reading these scriptures, right? It says, therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. OK. So the understanding is the uh, is the way you have the, uh, the light. OK. Now, from there, I like to go to the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Start at the 17th verse, okay? Well, I'm going to read 17 and uh, 18. And it says this it says, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth. Walk not as other Gentiles walk. And this is talking to Israelites. These uh, ones that believed in Ephesus. Okay. They were Israelites that had lost their way. Okay. Lost their heritage. So yet Paul is telling them that uh, don't walk as the other Israelites that are lost. Okay. In the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened. See. What's the opposite of darkness is light. So Paul is saying, look, so when you have your uh, understanding darkened, you're, you're a band or you're in the light, obviously. OK. But when you have your understanding. Um, oh, you want to know something real quick? If you go into the word understanding, one of the definitions or one of the uh, anonyms. For the, for the word understanding is insight, which means to see into. But when you are uh, blinded or when you're in darkness, you can't see into anything. You see? But when you uh, have the insight or the understanding, you can see. What do you need in order to see? You need light. Okay? So let's read verse 18 again. It says, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. And the heart is talking about the mind. Okay? So this is all happening where? In our mind. Our minds, you know, uh, um, were once dark because of what was in it. The information, the doctrines, the uh, the philosophies that were in our mind had our mind darkened to where we couldn't see the truth. I don't, we you know we didn't come out of the that darkness and follow Yahushai. Okay, we now see what the truth is through having an understanding of these scriptures. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that was it on there. Now let's jump to uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. I'm sorry, for I'm reading 15. So like it, this is uh, Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest. So it's only going to be a small number that awake to the understanding of these, of these scriptures. Right? The masses of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are banned from this truth. But a small portion that were also in that same darkness as the as the majority of our people came out of it by election, you know, not by uh, our own power or something that we plan to do. This was all designed and uh, uh, predestined by the Most High. OK, so let's read it again. Ephesians 5 and 14, wherefore he said, the wake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. OK, when you sleep. When your eyes are closed, it's dark. When you're dead, you're in darkness. Okay? It says, And Masi Hamasiyat shall give thee light. Right? Again, it's telling us that Yahweh Shai is going to give us the light through the understanding of these scriptures. Because what did Yahweh Shai do? He taught. The, starting with the 12 disciples, okay, which became apostles, he taught them and gave them a under, the understanding of these scriptures, right? They had the, rec uh, uh, the records back then, but they didn't have the understanding of them, you see? Now, let's go into showing that the majority of our people are banned, okay, are forbidden from this life. That's why we see the majority of our people are still celebrating Christmas. They're about to celebrate New Year's. Uh, they're going to continue on in the ways of Babylon the Great. Okay? It's because they are forbidden from the light. The Most High wanted that way. Okay? Now let's get it. This is Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, we're going to start at verse uh, 8. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And this is basically a counsel in the spirit world. Okay, where the Most High is asking the question, Who's going to go and do a particular job for me on the earth? Okay, and the angel jumped, got up, or stood up, for a lack of better words, and said, uh, here, send me. Okay, let's see what the job of that this angel is supposed to do. It says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay, and I'm going I'm to just stop. Well, really, I got to read on to uh, verse 10. So it's going into when... You know, our people hear this word, they see us out there on the highways and byways teaching or they see a, a particular lesson, whether they just scroll right or, or uh, listen for a little bit and then go on about their way. They cannot understand what this is all about. OK. They don't understand when we bring out this information, they don't understand what we're talking about. Why? Because this right here, it says, make the heart or the mind of, of this people fat and make their eyes heavy and shut their eyes. Meaning they going to now if you shut your eyes, you're, uh, you're in darkness, right? You can't see. And they are, they are, our people minds are fat with different philosophies, right? And also, I mean, they got a bunch of nonsense in their mind. And also, when we're bringing out this information by the, by the time, so to speak, uh, uh, it's overwhelming them. You see? It says, and uh, make their, their ears heavy, meaning when they hear this, they're not going to be able to understand it. And, and shut their eyes, least they see. So the angel's job was to do what? To Israel. 
to make them not understand the words of the prophets. Okay, what the prophets is going to bring out the understanding of this Bible. It says, least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand. See, it's, this thing is all about understanding. See, the word is a, it's about understanding this word. That's the light. Okay, when you understand, you have the light. When you don't understand, you're in darkness. When you don't understand this word. It says, at least it says, uh, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So the most high want the majority of our people, okay, to continue on uh, in blindness, in darkness, okay, to only to be destroyed. Okay, this is the way the most high set it up. If you got a problem with it, you got to take that up with the most high. You know, the most high is also doing this to show his great power, you know. He wanted, he's, he's using the chosen few to accomplish a great uh, thing in the earth. Now from there, let's go to the book of Romans. And I'm going to wrap this up right here in the book of Romans uh, 11. So Romans 11, and we're going to read verse 7 through, uh, through 10. It says, then... I mean, what then? Israel had not attained that which he seeketh for. And what is uh, Israel seeking for? They seeking for the light. Right? The, uh, the truth of, of this Bible. Or really the truth, but they don't know that they're going to get it through the understanding of the, of the Bible. Okay? It said, but the election has obtained it. They have obtained the light. Or the truth. And the rest were blinded. According as it is written. The most high has given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see. And ears that they should not hear. Unto this day. Okay. And that's uh, going back to Isaiah 6 and 9. Right. And it says. Reading on it says. And David said. Let their table be made a snare the table is talking about these scriptures these scriptures and the ones that's not of the election meant to get the light the ones that are banned from the light when they open up these scriptures they're going to be snared they're going to be in a in a in a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always and we find uh, Paul was quoting this out of uh, Psalm 69, 22 and uh, 23, right? So we, we've thoroughly shown, and there is other scriptures that could get brought out to show that the majority of our people, they are banned from getting this truth, man. That's why we see uh, most of our people still continuing in the ways of this world. As many Israelites that it, that it should be Israelite groups. Uh, uh, saturating the streets of the world, not only in America, but of the world, okay? Saying that we're the Israelites, bringing out the understanding of this Bible. But what? The masses are forbidden from the light. So, Lord willing, this lesson was uh, edifying and exhorting unto the Spirit. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings on to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.